Hey up, Rock God 2004 back with another video for you. Um, and this is an unboxing of a record. Got this dirt cheap. Um, it was originally over 30 quid. It was between 30 and 40 quid when it first came out. And I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and it's come down to 20 pound. Now I haven't bought records lately, a lot, apart from Record Store Day, but when I seen the 20 quid I thought, out comes a credit card. But I thought, 20 quid, how could I, how could I just not get it? And Amazon, I'm glad to say, I've started packing back in boxes again, thankfully. Because when I got the Maiden album, nearly two years ago, Jesus, was that nearly two years ago? It was handed to me. Just the record, you can see the artwork, just Iron Maiden all over. There you go, and it was absolutely battered to hell. I'm hoping they've learned their lesson. So the, Because they used to overpack stuff, and then they went... The total opposite. So I'm hoping that they're going to stay like this, as it should be. This is not going to please a lot of Maiden fans. <laughs> I personally don't care. That's what I like. This is the first time that this has ever been released on vinyl, officially. I understand that there's bootlegs out there. This is one of the biggest sort of pop bands of the 80s. And um, this album was after their mega, mega success. And I don't think the album, in fact, I'm 99% certain the album did not even get released in this country. The only way you could get this was on American Import and it was CD only, which I do have. Um... And the plastic tray that it, the CD sits in, bright, shocking pink. And this is bright, shocking pink vinyl. The single of it did get a release over here, which I found really bizarre. Right, there it is. Wonderful, excellent condition. Normally, they would put it in there and put it in a proper record mailer, but they haven't. So this is the first time released on vinyl. It ain't their greatest album, but God, I have wanted this. Where's a ton? It's a double LP in a gay full sleeve, bright pink vinyl, and it's the 25th anniversary of Duran Duran's <laughs> Medazzaland. They were still clinging on to Rio there, I think, because they were trying to get the popularity back to what it was. Um, and the only time they got big again was when the original lineup got back together in 2004 and released the new album astronaut and went on tour and they were back doing stadiums again when this album come out like i said it didn't even get a release over here there were just two in little venues um but all fair play to them they kept going and they made it back up there again um thoroughly well deserved i've always well ever since is there something i should know when these first came out with Planet Earth and Girls on Film, I hated them. Hated them with a passion. Because when Planet Earth was in the charts, I was listening to the uh, the Killers album I had made, and Paul Diano, I think, was still in them. Um, so, no, it was metal or nothing. But as you get a little bit older, you start to have little guilty pleasures. And it wasn't until, I think it was 83, when I, Is There Something I Should Know came out. That's when I heavily got into them. I've always, always, always loved Save a Prayer. And I think it's probably always going to be one of my favourite songs. It, what it did overlap the number of the beast for a short while once. That's how much I love that song. Um, but now, yet yeah, such a fantastic band. So let's have a look at this um, shock and pink vinyl, see what it looks like. Uh, and to see if you get any other goodies in, which you probably won't. I'm not so bothered about opening this too carefully because it'll be going in a proper sleeve eventually anyway. Uh, I still I need to play some records. I still haven't played none since about nine, ten months ago. Right then, so what they've done well 
you do get. Oh, oh it's plain white sleeves, poly lined. Excellent stuff. I do love them. And then, you, wow! You get this. I'm saying it's a booklet. Look at the thickness. It's like a bloody novel. Oh, I'm impressed with it. No wonder it was heavy. A double LP and this. I didn't know you got this in. Oh, it kind of smells like arrow posters. Tell me that ain't freaky. Jesus, that's the stuff of nightmares. That's, uh, it's very nonsensical, as is most of the album, to be fair. With a name like Medaza Land, I suppose, what you'd expect. A dollar bill. Mm, wonderful. That looks like a like a brain scan. Yeah, all makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a song on this. And it's uh, it's an acoustic song. And it is absolutely beautiful. It's it's not a very well known Duran song. Um and the song has got the most weirdest title. Uh, it's called Michael. You've got a lot to answer for. I swear to God, it is gorgeous. It's acoustic, like acoustic guitar. Um, and Nick Rhodes does like a bit of keyboards in, and there's a little bit sounds like violins. It's, honestly, it is. It's fantastic. It's the best song on the album for me. It's a bit of a. Um, they patchy because some of it's like quite dancey, which I don't like, and then they come up with belters like that. But look at that. I love Pink Vinyl anyway, but that is stunning. Oh, it's pressed to 45 as well. So that'll go that, that if that's pressed to 45, that should sound fantastic because it's like they've spread the songs over, so the groove's gonna be bigger and 45 RPM. It's gonna be like sort of a 12-inch single, so it's gonna have some decent bass on it as well. And it should be exceptionally clear. Well, that one looks all right. I'm very dubious now. I thought, Eri, Eri, Eri. What a bell end! <laughs> Eric Carr escapade. Oh, I do have a little update about that Eric Carr thing as well. Um, I messaged the seller twice. Nothing. I've messaged the record company in France and the US company. It's the same company, but it says US on the end. It looks like that's where it was manufactured, looking at the sleeve. And I've heard nothing from both. So the only other alternative I had was to start a returns with eBay. So I started the returns. Apparently, the sellers accepted the returns. Um, and then it says they've got whatever it is days to send you a returns label and the last day that they've got is Friday if they haven't sent it by Friday eBay step in I've heard nothing yet I don't care I hope eBay step in and say there's your refund and keep the record at least I've got it there in the collection with the I can put it with the other Kiss stuff. I don't have the other Kiss albums actually. The solo albums. There was this beautiful box set that came out. Um and the colours around each member's hairline was the colour of the vinyl. So the Peter Chris one was green vinyl, the Ace Freely one was blue, the Paul Stanley was purple, and the Gene Simmons one was red. And it was in this gorgeous box. And I thought, I ain't paid 150 quid for that. It went like that. Wow, do I regret that. Uh, yeah. I'm rambling, but I'm trying to make it a bit longer because it's only a couple of minutes long anyway. I just thought I'd give you something to listen to, give it updates, so I'll let you know again. Another update on the Eric Carr issue. Side C is looking good. I love that colour. It is gorgeous. Is it warped? No. Beautiful. So, Michael, you've got a lot to answer for is the last song on side C.
whether you like Duran Duran or not, please go on YouTube and type in Duran Duran. Michael, you've got a lot to answer for. Just please listen to it once. It's nothing like they've ever done. It's not what you expect. It's not like all oh, this girls on film. Gubbins. It's um, oh, it's just a beautiful song. And apparently, uh, I found out later on, I don't know how true it is. But it's supposed to be about Michael Jackson. I don't know. I can't remember the full story. I can't remember whether Simon Le Bon actually knew. Michael Jackson or not, and he did it as like a little dedication thing. I don't know. Because the, the, the opening line is, I came round to your house today. I think it's something like that. But the acoustic guitar, um, it isn't Andy Taylor. It's later. It's uh, it's the other fellow whose name, I, I always forget. I think his first name is Warren. I can never remember his last name, but he's the guitarist on Ordinary World as well. He's quite a rocky guitarist when he wants to be. Great guitar player. Great guitar player. Um, but when they did the reunion, it was like, yeah, get out. A bit like Kiss did with Eric Singer and Bruce Kulik when they got Peter Chris and Ace Freely back. Um, I suppose, I, I understand both sides because you're thinking like, well, that's a bit of a crappy thing to do, kicking your band members out. But when you've had fans asking for something for years, like they want the original lineup back together, and then the opportunity arises. I do get why. You think we'd be stupid not to. It's just a shame that they have to kick people out to do it. The only other way around it, I suppose, would be to carry on as a six or seven piece like Maiden did. When they kicked out Blaze Bailey to get Bruce Dickinson back. But then they got Adrian Smith back as well. But they kept Yannick, who had been in the band Donkey's years. He, he had no right being kicked out. So fair play to them. It's a shame more bands didn't think of it like that. But yeah, there we go. Duran Duran, Medazzaland, double pink vinyl, 25th anniversary edition, limited to God knows how many copies, but it's a limited edition. Um, if you fancy this, if you like Duran Duran, if you've heard the album and you do like it, it's on Amazon now for about 20 quid. It dropped, that's why I got it. Whether it's gone up or not, I don't know. But that's where this has come from. £20 for a double limited pink vinyl with a booklet. That big is a bargain. Because it was 30 odd quid when it came out. So there you go. And that's it. I just thought I'd do that little unboxing. Post it hasn't been yet because that was Amazon. If I've got anything else, I'll probably unbox that as well. Um, yeah. I am going to hopefully start on my next video. Proper video soon as well because... I'm waiting for one to come in the post. Once that's here, and I can do it. But I'm going to start getting them in order because I've got quite a few and I was quite surprised. Um, so, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, all two of you. Um, and I will see you on the very next one. If you've subscribed, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. You all take care of yourselves and I shall see you very soon. Ta-ta.